Alright, we're going. Ladies and gentlemen, back. Hit that like button, subscribe. Man, I'm going to start this thing out with some stuff I seen yesterday. And it was about um this girl. So I don't know if y'all know her out there. This chick named Sophia Nelson. Now, this girl, I've known her for a while. She'd be on NSNBC. Sometimes she'd be on Fox, CNN sometimes. And see, I came across her because she's a bat wrench. The definition of a bat wrench. And if you don't know what the definition of a bat wrench is, I'm about to tell you. So years ago, when she came across my radar, she was uh, talking about black women. And she's black, mind you. And she was talking about how women like her have a hard time uh, finding love. Now, what she did was she blamed black men for her inability to pull and keep a white man. That's white people. She said, blame black men for stereotypes of black women. Now, the stereotypes about black women being militant, angry, having an attitude, all of those stereotypes come from white men. All right? So then she wrote this blog where it was about how to pull a white man. Something that she can't do by herself. That's why she's miserable and bitter and blaming black men for her inability to pull a white man. But she wrote this blog about how black women need to leave black men behind and start dating white guys. Then she wrote it. It was this book named Swirling and she had a uh column little column in that with the same stuff. So Serena Williams, I think in 2018 she got married. And a lot of these bet wrenching black women, they all like let jumped on, you know, Serena Williams bandwagon and jumped on Megan Merkel bandwagon. Strictly because these women marry white dudes. So she had wrote this thing about Serena Williams. I put it up on the screen right now. You guys can see it. None of this stuff that she says. Serena Williams ain't said none of this stuff. At all. She just put on this anti-black man stuff onto these black women who date outside of their race. Because she has a problem with black men. So this week, what she does is. She put out this tweet where she said, this is the order of America. And she had white men, number one, black men, number two, white women, number three. And then she had everybody else's number four. Now, of course, this caused outreach amongst African-American men and women. The ADOS people was on her behind. Now, let me tell you why this woman thinks the way that she thinks and she feels the way that she feels. When you see these regressive feminist women, these misandrists, when you see them put white women third and black men second, they telling you a couple of things. One, that they do not recognize or take into account that white women own black men and black women. White women own 42% of all the slaves doing slavery. Also, she talked about how black men had the right to vote before white women. Yes, that is fact. But, Black men are the most progressive men in the United States of America on women issues. 
So black men was voting against white supremacists in its system. Black men have never, ever had the opportunity to be patriarchal because black women have had as much say so in the household as black men have had. So naturally, black men voted against the way white men wanted to conduct American society. That's when white men allowed white women to vote to counter black men. Then she say, well, you see, Barack Obama was the first black president. Michelle was the first first lady. Everything that Obama had accomplished in his life or any black man for that matter, have improved the lives of black women, whether it's his wife or his aunt, his sister, his cousins. The same way white women is the biggest beneficiary of white supremacy and white male patriarchy. But see, that's what she doesn't understand, people. And that's when you see these black women like her that can look at a white woman and see themselves through well, those white women. I want her to let, let me know what power that I got. Yeah, exactly. So and I can so, finally use it because I've been using mine all wrong. So she see herself through white women, but she feel a closeness to white women that she don't feel to black men. And this is when you hear these women who are constantly talking about Black women this, black women that. These women have separated themselves from our race. Because their eye is trying to date white dudes and seeing white dudes as some type of achievement and some validation of desirability. So people start busting up behind, but a lot of folks, I don't think people know her history. Right, because she's a Republican, by the way. And I remember she was one of those women that was trying to amp up Kamala Harris. And she was amping up Kamala Harris because Kamala Harris had a white husband. That's what she was doing. Because that's what she aspired, aspires to be, what Kamala Harris is. And also with the whole R. Kelly thing, couple years ago she was behind that too that's why when the whole r kelly thing or i think r kelly you know supposed to be held accountable for his actions but some of those women that was behind this it wasn't just because it was r kelly it was because he was a black man that she wants to take down so you had her and then you had this other chick named tiffany cross now, during the debate, it was this woman on there. She was Afro-Colombian, uh, Afro right? And Tiffany Cross, and this is what I told you guys before about these influencers in the mainstream media and how everything about politics to them is about representation. So now you have Joe Biden, and he's saying that he's going to put a woman on his and ticket, VP. yeah, as VP, you have all of these crazy black folks sitting around here, black women talking about, well, it got to be Kamala Harris or Stacey Abrams. See, they're not worried about black women in general. They just want one black face in a high place living through those black people. So this girl, Tiffany Cross, she's talking about how proud she was of this woman representing black people the woman didn't ask one single question about african americans the whole goddamn two hours that they was up there not one time and she said oh yeah she said oh yeah and she got an asian hubby too so i seen um uh, man. yes this is the same thing that i seen yvette cornell say yvette cornell was like why why did she mention her husband being asian and it was another black sister. She said, no, she wanted those. That's a dig at black men. Of course, that's exactly what it is. Of course, that's exactly what it is as a dig at black men. And another girl, she said, that's a dig at black men. She on that black man ain't shit 
tip that look, she represents black men. Oh yeah, look at her. She got a Asian husband, and they raising a six year old boy together. That kind of funny that if black men ain't shit, then she need, why is she always talking about? Him? Yes, and see, this is talking the, about us. I mean, uh, and and the thing that was funny, I, I said, yo, y'all got it, and uh, I seen the homie, uh, one of the homies I follow from Shark Champagne Sharks, Ricky Raw, and Ricky Ross, he said, um. These women like her, they got to they gotta be consistent here. Either black men are the number two most powerful men, more powerful people in the United States of America, or we ain't shit. It can't be both. He said oh, for, other, for her to believe, say both of these things, then it has to be that she believed that black men have all of these opportunities and somehow black men wasted them. And that's why we ain't shit. I said, that's exactly what she thinks. Steph, Sophia Nelson. She thinks that. She have erased our lineage, erased our history, and erased our oppression. But what she also have done is put our oppression in the hands of white women and saying that they are marginalized and they are oppressed more than black men are in the United States of America. This is the definition of bad rinse, ladies and gentlemen. And people are like, yo, man, you go hard on these black women. I no, I go hard on coons, mammy, and bad rinse, bro. And that's what this woman is. And she's been getting away with this stuff for the longest time. And it was like the first time that I seen black people really like take notice and i heard a lot of black people they were like yo who is this chick anyway i said no nah, she's been out here doing this for a minute she been out here on her anti-black men stuff for a minute just like old carrie champion over there at espn so i've been seeing it from these chicks bro and i said it was just amazing though to see everybody else Finally, like, catch on to this chick. Like, yo, this chick him awful. And sisters was killing her, by the way. <laughs> black women were killing her. Like, what are you talking about? Black men are number two in America? And I said it was just foolish talk. Like I said, I want to um, show me where I went wrong. Mm -hmm. So I can use this power. I was like, it, it's, and she had been on this stuff, man. I seen it so much. And I and you and always black dudes in prison, like, yeah, so what's too. Hell yeah, like it's more black men in jail in America than it is women across the entire world. When you talk about white women here in America, politics, you no know, Congress, governors, mayors, whatever, white women are highly represented than black men in and in, in any era. Make more money than black men and everything. When she say that black men a number two in America because black men got the opportunity to vote. And I said, this is the one of the reasons why feminism, feminism got started in the first place is that white women were mad that black men got the opportunity to vote. And she totally erased that black people was dying. Black men and was getting killed for trying to vote. She totally erased all of that history. That she totally erased that Jim Crow were put in place to try to keep black men from voting. No, she didn't forget it. She just said, yo, if I say this, people won't go look at the information. and Yeah, look at the information for themselves and, and contest her. That's what a lot of people do. A lot of people spit out stuff. And if you're not going to do if you already don't know the truth, then you will say, for real? I ain't know that. But if you know the truth or you saying, hold on, let me fact check this. Let me check the car facts. Then you can come back and rebuttal everything that people say. Mm -hmm. and, and and she and I was like, she just 100% bat wrench, bro. And I'd never forget like a year or two. I said, this girl just blamed black men for her inability to keep a white dude. With all of these black men out here who dating white women, black men got the most stereotypes against them than any other group in the country black men do probably should have been taking that that that, that photo that she was taking and actually analyzing 
herself with that. Mm-hmm. But I was like, she, she's something else, though, boy. That's Sophia Nelson, man. All right, people, hit that like button, subscribe. Next topic, man, tell me what y'all think about Sophia Nelson. If y'all were some of the people, man, that seen that foolishness go down the other day with her on uh, Twitter.